A very popular trend these days is converting a car's incandescent lights to more modern LEDs. But there are some pitfalls in doing an LED changeover. There are several advantages to LEDs and a couple of disadvantages. The most notable pluses are brighter light and faster on time so that other drivers have a fraction of a second more reaction time. LEDs last much longer than standard incandescent bulbs, and finally, well, you can often change colors and color temperature to get the exact look you want. Now, negatives are LEDs cost more, may need a conversion kit for headlights, and may need resistors for turn signals. What do you look for? No matter what bulbs you are converting, quality is number one, followed by good customer support. Remember, your shopping quality and reliability as these are critical safety items, so you want them to work properly. From there, it depends on which bulbs you're changing. If it's straight up tail lamps or side marker lamps, tag lights, or other non-blinking lights, you may want the bulb to fit the socket and don't want the bulb to be too dim or too bright. It would really confuse other drivers if your tail lights were brighter than your brake lights. For bulbs that flash, you may have to add resistors in the circuit to prevent hyper or very fast flashing, which you have probably seen many times. Then, you need to know if your car uses CAN bus technology, because you'll have to have a special CAN bus compatible LED bulb if you do. If your car does not have CAN bus, make sure you don't install CAN bus bulbs as you may find yourself with some freaky electrical problems that are very hard to trace. Also remember that LED bulbs can be purchased in white, red, or amber. If the bulb is going behind a red lens, you'll get better results with a red bulb and with an amber bulb behind an amber lens. If all that sounds complicated, wait until you get into converting your headlights. Some of the things you need to consider are what color temperature you want, based on the Kelvin color scale. For cars, the numbers range from about 3,000 to 10,000 Kelvin, or sometimes higher. But the most useful on a car, as far as visibility goes, are between 5,000 and 6,000, which are very much like natural daylight. The higher the number above 6,000 Kelvin, the bluer the light, and below 5,000 makes the light more yellow. Most drivers find 6,000 to their liking. But other things to consider are beam patterns and whether or not a particular bulb is compatible with the type of lights on your car. In other words, some LEDs have two elements, which means they produce light from two sides while others have three or more elements which produce light in a full 360 degrees. Many modern cars have projector style lamps and others don't. You have to know which your car has because some LEDs will only work in projector lamps while others won't work well in them at all. The wrong bulb in a projector headlamp may simply scatter the light and blind oncoming drivers. Not good. Then come things like how the bulb dissipates heat. Some use heat sinks, while others have tiny cooling fans, and some have both heat sinks and cooling fans. Confused yet? Well, bottom line is, before you buy any old LED replacement bulb for your car, make sure you know what you want, what your car requires, and the brand you're buying is high quality. If you want to experience an adrenaline rush, Wait until your low-grade bulbs go black on a nasty curve on the two-lane one dark and stormy night. That will make your pucker parts pucker and make you wish you had bought a better product. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Goss's Garage on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. And for more car tips, tricks, and money-saving ideas, visit goss-garage.com. Drive gently. See you next time right here in Goss's Garage.